In today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I actually wanted to show off this awesome challenge course, which is loaded with S-Jack's Simple Trainer for Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC. Now, this mod for the challenge course is actually made by a guy whose name is Cobra94 on the Grand Theft Auto 5 mod forums. Now, this track is actually made starting from the Maze Bank, and it just makes its way over the downtown end of Los Santos. You can do it in either bikes or cars. Cars are, of course, quite a bit harder. But you can just ramp up various things. There's little bits, thin paths to go down. At the start, there's a windmill that you actually have to evade. And overall, it's just a really fun and tricky course. So I'm going to be going through this track, showing off and how to load it in the video. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video, be sure to go and drop a like down below as it really does help me out as always. Now, let's go. So like I said, for the people wanting to play this awesome challenge track called, I believe, Challenge Course 3 by this Cobra 94, you're going to need to have a way to load it. So you need to use SJX Simple Trainer. There'll be a link to both this and the trainer in the description down below. So you can go and download them there. The, the installation is extremely easy. It's literally just a matter of dragging and dropping. Open IV isn't needed to load any of this. But the track itself is really creative. They've actually used a load of just the skate ramps to build your main building blocks to drive around. Then there's lots of other crates that you have to kind of drive around and be careful of some will actually fall out of the sky so you can't drive on those but there's no way of knowing which ones until you've already driven over it so it's just a really creative course there's a lot of kind of thin paths that make it extremely hard to do in a car in the video i did actually use a comet as he said that it probably was a bit too easy on a bike if you would just like to speed run it then of course use the bike but when it comes to trying to break through some of these glass panels here, I thought that might also be a little bit more difficult. So I picked the Comet just because it was rather small and it wouldn't be too easy to actually complete the course. And I just really had a good time. You have to go over some kind of slanted bits. You have to do some slalom around through different posts and over these actual ramps. And it's just overall lots of different things all kind of merged into one big track. To get to the end, there are some parts of this that you have to go very slowly over. You don't want to go too quickly because otherwise you'll just ramp off the edge and you'll have to restart right at the maze bank. So it's kind of up to you, the player, to work out just by eyeballing it how fast you're going to need to go over certain things. There are some jumps that look like you need to go fast, but actually you just need to take it very easy, take it very slow, just to go over the very crest of it. There are other things where you go over, for example, in the gameplay you're going to see me go over a big log track. Again, you need to go very slow over that because otherwise you'll get pinged off to the side. I did that about twice while trying to do this track and it's right near the end. Very, very annoying. And then as you go over a couple of these huge, I think they're actually down by the docks normally, these huge kind of floating things, you do need to take it extremely slowly because otherwise when you reach the bottom of the, of the ramp, you're going to just slide straight over the edge and down onto the road underneath. But I really enjoyed playing this challenge course. I guess he's actually made a few others. That is Cobra 94. He's got, I guess, at least two others. The name of this is Challenge Course 3. So definitely go and check out some of his other mods on the GTA 5 mods site. It's really fun to play around with these. Actually, in the gameplay, I forgot to reinstall my water mod. So I just had everything. You could just see the seabed down there. It looked a bit funny. But like I said, definitely go and download this mod. I think it'd be really fun if you guys want to try it out. Leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it, as it really does help me out as always. Subscribe for more GTA 5 content coming very regularly. And finally, follow me on Twitter. There's a link down in the description below, where I post more daily GTA 5 real life and graphic design content that doesn't always go up on this channel. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys all very much for watching. My name has been Flair, signing out.